Wisconsin has 72 counties, of which 64 are uh, dental shortage areas com uh, as determined by CMS at the federal level. And if you, especially for low-income people, I mean, if you are a self-pay person, you have dental insurance, you're fine. If you are low-income, you might have to travel. I know a family in Monaco that travels to Eau Claire in order to see a dentist that will accept Medicaid. Or you must, you know, you're on an FQHC waiting list or some of the free charitable clinics and stuff. So it's very hard. Um, it's very hard. And it's not just rural in northern Wisconsin. It's very much urban Wisconsin also. So you've made a little progress yes, with this dental auxiliary bill. Do you expect the governor to sign it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Has he's, bipartisan support? Yeah, he's always been good on dental health care access. In fact, um, my other bill, which is dental therapists, we passed it through the Senate unanimously. Um, Robin Voss stopped it in the Assembly. It's still sitting in the Assembly Committee on Org. Um, governor Evers had called me in early in the session and said, how can I help you get that done?